sure some of you are familiar with CFG.tf, a great website for creating weapon-specific crosshairs. Though it's a good website, the crosshairs are limited to a few presets. Don't get me wrong, many of these look great, but what if we wanted to create a crosshair for ourselves? Well, in this video I'll walk you through the process of how to do so. For starters, we need to make a crosshair. For this you need a picture editor. There are some good free options out there like GIMP and Paint.net. In this video I'll be using Paint.net, but I'll link both editors in the description below. When opening the editor you want to create a new picture that is 64 times 64 pixels. Remove the background so the crosshair will be transparent. Make sure to use white color for the crosshair and black for outline if preferred. This is so that when you change crosshair color in game, it'll apply to the white but the black remains normal. For the purpose of this video, I'll be making a crosshair for Dumbman's grenade launcher, but you may choose whatever weapon you'd like. If you want the crosshair to be centered, make sure to find the center of the picture and draw out from this point. Once you're done with the crosshair, go ahead and save the file as a .png file. To double check if the background has been removed, you can open the image and see for yourself. Moving along, we're gonna make the crosshair into a .vtf file. To do this, we'll be using a program called VTF Edit. You'll also find a link to this program down below. Once installed, go ahead and open the editor. Go up to the left corner and press File, then Import, and then locate your crosshair file. If you did it correctly, a little window should pop up, labeled VTF Options. Make sure your options matches the ones on my screen. Once it does, press OK. On the left side we now have a few options. Cross off the following. No MIP map, no level of detail, and 8-bit alpha. When you're done with that, you can go to File, then Save As and name your crosshair. Next up, you'll need to download another file. You'll find this in the description as well. This is a .vmt file and will define the properties of your crosshair. You open the file in VTF Edit and change this part here with the name of your crosshair. You're also going to want to change the name of the VMT file to match your crosshair's name. When you're finished with all of this, you should have two files, a VMT file and a VTF file. We're now going to go to cfg.tf and navigate to weapon-specific crosshairs. From here, select the weapon or weapons you want your custom crosshair on. Then pick a crosshair. It doesn't need to be anything specific, as we'll overwrite it with our own crosshair later on. Once you're done, go ahead and press Download Package. When the zip file is finished downloading, extract it, open it and make sure there's a scripts folder inside. If there isn't any, you'll need to download a new package until you get it. You're now going to move the crosshairs folder into your TF2 local files. Now open it and go to Materials, VGUI, Replay, then Thumbnails. This is where you put your VMT and VTF file. Head back to the scripts folder and go ahead and open it. Find the weapon.txt file you want your custom crosshair on and open it. Scroll down until you find the crosshair section and change the crosshair to your own. Now save the file and start the game. Open up console and paste in this command. cl underscore crosshair underscore file Quotation, quotation. Since there's no variable or a value within the quotations, the game sets it to null or none. 
This will allow our custom crosser to work. Load into game and check out your new crosser. Thanks a lot for watching. If you found the video helpful, you can like it so there's a bigger chance for YouTube to recommend it to others who seek to know how to do this. Per usual, there will be a link to my Discord server in the description below. Feel free to join if you need help with anything or just have a good time in general. We're soon approaching 1000 members, so maybe you'll be the lucky one. That's it for this tutorial, until next time. Bye.